Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your story basic original, and today we are continuing on here. Chapter 4, Moon of Fate at Agalus. Let's not waste the time, let's get into it. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. Don't be slowpoke. It not like you. Miranda? So, this is the magic power. No, uh, we are a serious shiner, aren't we? There is no time to hesitate. We can still go back to the room from here, but it is better that we hurry. Open the door at once. Like, I can't believe a person exists with such awesome, amazing, magical power. Kind of threw me off to hear her say something like that. Was not expecting that in a, in a game like this. Wow, look at this. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing if I was a Meru. I'd be hovering around and be like, wow, this is so cool. This is the bottom of the sea, and yet somehow you're flying. How are we not swimming? Oh, like the, it's like dispersing water, I guess? Huh, what a great view. It's worth waiting alone. Uh, don't forget, we were invited by somebody. Otherwise, this will be the last year that we see. But it's incredibly magic. It's incredible magic, creating this much space in the water. This city originally was not in such a suffocating place. All the wingly cities used to float in the Aha, so it's easier to control the creatures below. And that's how it was until we shot them down. With my dad? Yes, Zeke and me, and five other dragoons together. 11,000 years passed since then, and now we are here. Being here to protect the Cygnosphere. It feels strange to me. What's going on? C closed. What? They don't want us to go back. They are playing hardball with us. Well, let's crack on then. Wow, this list is so cool. What's this? Ruff has been in here forever, Ruff. I only know the view is starting here, Ruff. It doesn't seem to be harmful. It's Ruff, Ruff. Ruff doesn't want to say anything, but it's precious to say it's Ruff, Ruff. Welcome to the seven heroes fated to be here. In rows, those thousands of years I've waited, when neither as long as eternity, nor as short as a mere twinkle of a star, people can confront their pair with, with courage, Ruff. I forgot the rest. How do you know my name? Whose message is this? Ruff only knows what Ruff hears, Ruff. Ruff doesn't know anything else, Ruff. Are you on Zeke's side? Answer me, I'm gonna mess you up. Mess you up? Ruff has never seen it and doesn't know, Ruff. Show it to Ruff. It should be some rough stuff, Ruff. Hey, Miranda, this baby didn't do anything. Aw, aren't you, little guy? I'm sorry we scared you. Aw, this baby's made by magic. By magic, there wasn't even such technology during the dragon campaign. You gotta believe this because it's right in front of our eyes. But this baby's like totally cute. Ruff is cute, and all are not cute, Ruff. But Rose is exception, Ruff. If you're gonna treat me as an exception, then why don't you take me to the signet sphere? That's your own challenge to go by yourself, Ruff. All for the sake of the psychedelic bomb and moot, Ruff. Ruff is going, Ruff. It's Ruff, Ruff. <laughs> Psychedelic bomb? Well, we gotta go anyway. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Zathras from uh, Babylon 5. My favorite sci-fi show of all time. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll understand why I said he reminds me of Zathras. Probably burnout, which is blah.
Pyrocushion Magma. Also, blah. We go this way first, or do we go the up way first? This way seems like the most natural place to go first. Hmm, maybe I was wrong. There's two chests over there. Yep, I may have been wrong. Should have known because left is always right. <laughs> uh, Should have known. Should have known. Oh, enemies. Let's see what they'll like. I'm still using the same party, by the way. Is the music back? Do we got our music back? Oh, heck yeah. This is going to be a great place to fight. Wow, he survived that. Good start of the episode. Very, very good start to the episode. Even though I had to pop his move still, I'm trying to get the other two to get powered up. So if you see me defending with Dart, it's just because I want the other two to use their abilities. Is this a Minotaur? It is a Minotaur. How about that? Whoa! I completely forgot that I had his changes to change. I thought he was still under, um, what, Halberd or something? That caught me completely off guard. I have you defended, try to get back a little bit of life. I didn't know you were hurt. Jeez. I need to practice that. Okay. It's not so difficult. It's just two. I don't know why I couldn't do it before, but it's just two. I somehow missed that. Alright, don't finish them all. I don't want him hitting with some really powerful magic that takes a character down 800 HP. Yeah, we got this music back. How about that? I still don't like the ending of the fight, but I like the music in the like while we're fighting. If I could combine those two things together, it'd be perfect. Now I'm not saying that the normal combat music is bad either. I just really like that cool music. It's 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 really something that you could like jam to, you know? That seemed kind of unnecessary. Like that top part. I'd probably gotten rid of that and would be fine. Magical hat. And a moon serenade. Okay, the moon serenade is meh. The magical hat could be good. Magma and Burnout. Yeah, I have three Moon Serenades now. I don't need three Moon Serenades. That's a little bit of... It's a little bit of meh. Why is speed up way down here? Doesn't make any sense. We also have a Helmet. The Magical Hat increases magical attack by 13 and defense by 10. Also raises the maximum MP by 50%, which is amazing. What am I gonna get? Well, right now, since I'm using Hashel and Albert, um, I think I'm gonna get this to Albert for magical defense. Yeah. The real question is, uh, do I put it on Congo? I might just put that on Kongo. Even though I don't really care about the MP, it would probably be better on Meru overall. But the magic defense is really nice. These enemies look so cool.
And I like how they're wa this enemy is water based, considering we're in a water, you know, undersea. I'm gonna defend with Hashel just so I can get him some more HP. weird is I just noticed that I've always been mispronouncing that move for some reason I always thought it was flurry of sticks but it's fairy of sticks because it's a boat that goes down the the sticks um Greek uh, mythology I don't know why I always thought it was flurry instead of fairy it is flurry wait a second hold on a second I'm gonna rewind that clearly says fairy of sticks so I was right, it is called Flurry, but for some reason it shows up as Fairy? Okay, I've never noticed it shows up as Fairy, but yeah. It shows up as Fairy of Six. Huh. Okay, so we need 11 more of those. And our, oh my, he needs a lot. He needs a lot, and then he doesn't need that much of these, thankfully. Uh, cool Boogie, uh, the problem there is I'm waiting on an additional four. So she's kinda, she's the only one I'm waiting on. Everyone else has all their additions potentially except her. That's a little unfair. Why are they mistreating Mero like that? Come on, game. Like seriously, don't do that to our girl. Head up here. Oh, hello there, Ruff. Hi, Ruff. I can't. There we go. Oh, wait, that's not Ruff. That's someone else. Who are we? Sorry, Pew. We are busy preparing the second death bomb and moot. Pew. Sorry, Pew. Oh, I saw the message by Ruff. Deserving our workers too, Ruff. Ruff. It's been a while since I last came here. Don't you think it should be nice to me and tell me more? Ruff! Ruff has nothing to tell you, Ruff! Ruff has something else to do, Ruff! Sorry, Pew. We are magical creatures, Pew. We are different balls, Pew. What are you doing here? Preparing the psychedelic bomb in mood, Pew. You can complete it, Pew. You can become the source of power, Pew. Sorry, Pew. He is coming, Pew. I have to make it a time, Pew. Remember your courage, Pew. He? Let's go. They irritate me. <laughs> Uh, it looks like some kind of researcher device. Into the second dark bomb, you. <sighs> but it's not enough rough. Alright, Angel's Prayer. That's good because I think I only have one of those. Moat. You. Look at the mana ray. It's so cool. Nice dodge. Magic attack fairy does not scare me in the slightest. Yeah, let's take this guy out. Someone else out. Take that, flurry of sticks. Yeah, he clearly says flurry of sticks, but it shows up as fairy of sticks. Huh. It's gotta be some sort of mistranslation there somewhere.
Very cool. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. The combat here is not so bad. Not so bad at all. Uh, left is always right. I mean, it's more like center than left. Yes, there is a chest up there. But then there's another teleporter. Sun Rhapsody. Okay, that's... That's good. Because now I know that we have to go to the left one. Again, I don't know why that exists. Seems like they made up a bunch of things that don't really have a reason of existing in this place. Ooh, look at the cool little octopus! So it looks like a giant spider puss or something. Ow, that minotaur hits hard. It's a jelly, it's a jellyfish. Little jelly's got a lot of HP. Ah, oh, cool. It, can it recovered its HP and so did nuking me. Thank you for that. Ah. Keep missing. Because every time you miss, that's one less addition experience that you get. Just to make sure this guy never gets a turn. Take that, flurry of sticks. Look at the uh, look at the design of the mantra, it looks really cool. It's got like something above his eye as well. Come on, fightless! Do better than this. Take that, flurry of sticks. Ah, I didn't mean to attack the dart. My bad. I, I expected it. I expected Albert's turn to come up. In terms of dragon levels, in terms of additions, I'd much rather have other people get the shots. Oh, look at this little cool guy. And he's gone. Nope, now he's back. It's a magic creature again. Don't be mean, Pino. It's just a message, Pino. Give me a break. Is everything like this in here? It's Rose, Pino. You're in the mirror, Rose, Pino. It's Rose who got friends and is in the mirror, Pino. Stop speaking in riddles. If you have a message, just say it. Don't be mean, Pino. Savant said, Pino. Santa Patos discovers the rightful law, has lost its reasons, and Mayfield, which governs over noble death, has been torn with my devils from the infernal world. The city is orcs faction. My magic power is deteriorating and cannot prevent the invasion by monsters anymore. The only saving grace is mine. The city's objective is about to be completed. You are the key. I've been waiting for you for thousands of years. Come before he comes. Savan, as if he knows everything. We will find out. I like all the magical creatures in here. They're cool. There's a bunch from here. Stop me, Cal. I introduce myself, Cal. I'm Decal. Welcome to the city of Act, Cal. Uh, you look different from the others. I just rule them out, Cal. Come with some answer, Cal. Who is that person? That's a good question, Cal. I think, Cal, you should go for it, Cal. Savant's fate will be signed soon, Cal. Is Savant the same as me? The same wingly, Cal. Savant is wingly who has been observing through a mirror for a thousand years, Cal. So, go... So go, Cal. Time is running to conclusion, Cal. What is this? The mirror that reflects the present has been watching forever, Pino. A thousand years watching you, Rose, Pino. 
What for? Don't be mean, Pino. Savannah is the same as you, Rose, Pino. The same as all of you now, Pino. Savannah's over there, Pino. Savannah Dragoon? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Savannah was waiting for you, Cal. Oh, look at that. Like, one in the same. It's about to end, Pino. Healing fog? Oh, another cool aquatic creature. What are you, a stern fish? It's a stern fish. It's indeed, it believes in it, the rules. It's very stern. Do I need a heal? Yeah, I probably need a little do it like a short leg heal. Dart, slow this guy down. That way, Alba and Hashla can get one turn of defense. Fourth, this way, there's also chest there. How do you get that chest? I don't see any other optional teleports. This is really good for addition grinding. Uh, this place here because there's only there's only one or two enemies that appear at a time. And because of that, it's easy to lock down. It's easy to not have to worry about HP. And each enemy has a little bit of HP on them. So it's not like... It's not like you do one attack and then they die. You can actually get a, at least usually two attacks off. Maybe three. That is, if we can do the additions correctly, which I seem to be not being able to do today for some reason. I just had a complaint about my inability to do them, and all of a sudden they just started doing them. <laughs> I'm gonna go one more fight and then I'll check my additions because I think uh, Hashel probably needs probably two to three more. Oh, there's another green arrow though on the bottom of the screen. So maybe I come back to that area. Yeah, I wanna go up to the top left. It's not the top left. There we go. But training, this takes me down where I can get that chest. Perfect. And it's just probably a useless item. I hate getting rid of an angel's prayer. I hate getting rid of a moon serenade, though. I can get rid of a Sun Rhapsody. 
and I could probably get rid of a healing fog. I hate this item cap. I don't think it necessarily makes the game harder either. Because the thing is, I haven't had an instance where I felt limited based on items. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I like the uh, little rain cloud thing on the background there. But yeah, in this game, I never felt that not having an item made the game more difficult. I just felt it was more annoying. Oh, look, this guy instant kills me and I only have like two revives because I can only carry two revives. That's, and that's not really a, um, a difficulty thing. It's just, it's just weird that I can only carry two body purifiers, two mind purifiers, and then when I get hit with it, you know, it's, it's a well dragoon form to get rid of this aspect. Otherwise, you know, you're screwed. My strategy here is uh, to quickly kill one of the two and then lock down the second one. I should speed down this one. Considering this guy usually has a lot of life. Well, I can lock it down now. It's a little bit late, but it's okay. about Albert is that first attack for some reason. I don't know why, but that first attack always catches me off guard. Well, I said he might be two to three away, so let's see how correct I was on that. Still no Dragon Level 3, though. Forty six to sixty. Ah, dang it, he's one away. That's annoying. The time has come. The foreseen evil is approaching. But my wish is now hereby accomplished after an eternity. I am Savan. I am only fated to fate to wait. The signet sphere you are looking for is safe. It is protected by the last kraken. You know everything? I know that there's no time left as well. Who are you? What are you going to do? No. What are you going to make us do? I survived the dragon campaign and continued studying magic to reconstruct a wingly world. Yes, even make myself ageless and immortal. Immortal, not immortal. However, the world outside the mirror hasn't required me. The world of Wingleys is no longer desired. I, in a mortal body with no purpose, 4,000 years of solitude deprived me of everything, even the significance of life and the meaning of death. But 7,000 years ago, I was saved by Rose. I found the meaning of life in the black monster in the mirror. Rose who now is confronting her fate. I have restarted my study for Rose, and its crystallization is a psychedelic bomb and moot. We will start the murder deeds of Zeke, who continues the plan of the creator by using the attacking spell, the psychedelic bomb, and with moot, we will completely seal the moon that never sets. That is the answer to the riddle. No wonder it takes several thousand years. Moot will be completed soon, but in order to activate the psychedelic bomb, I need the courage of you all. Our courage? It seems that my courage alone is not enough. The psychedelic bomb didn't work. I guess I don't have any courage. 
But like, that's not true. You have courage, Savan. <laughs> yes, you have been fighting alone for dozens of years. <laughs> but now, we are here with you. Yes, our intention is the same. You have to endure your own challenge, and we will put the courage that is born from them into the psychedelic bomb and activate it. When you are ready, come to me. Are you ready? No, I guess not yet. We don't have time. That man would do anything to destroy the signet spare. You cannot go, Uck. I won't let you go until Savant's charges are completed, Uck. Savant has waited for a thousand years, Uck. You can wait a little bit, Uck. Okay. What the heck is up with this? I actually can't go that way. Let me, let me drop a save. Okay, it looks like there's something over there. Let me see a sec. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Let me tell you, that's the world's magic was created here. But the newborn magic is mere hunk of material, so that heart, the real power, cannot be employed. But we have here brave people who can remain just and have the heart to bring completion to the ultimate magic. Please ignite the psychedelic bomb with your courage. Now proceed to the chamber of challenges. Is this gonna be like Quest for Glory 4 where a demonic form of each of us is gonna come out and attack? Earth. Light. Earth. Did I say Earth twice? No. Thunder? Hmm. What is the golden one? Like, that's thunder. That's darkness, that's fire. What What is Kongol's elemental? You are the last. Be with me here till then. At last, we're starting. No, this will be the end of my role. My fate awaiting as well. Let's hit the save point. An actual save. I'll go ahead and drop a state here as well. It's just faster to load. Yeah, I know I cannot go uck. I, I didn't mean to go uck. I meant to go talk to him. Chill out, dude. Shall we start the first challenge? Okay, what is the challenge? Again, like, explain this to me. What are you going, what do you expect me to do? It seems like it's just us. Why don't we fight for starters? Are you scared because you lost many times? Is a cheap part of a giganto stopping you? Congo and Rose change. Rose doesn't say such things. You are not Rose. Then die. Yes, this is like Quest for Glory 4. Oh, not 4. I'm sorry. I missaid that. Quest for Glory 3. Wages of War. My bad. I completely messed that up. Quest for Glory 3. Emperor Dole. Don't tell me you are putting up with your enemy. Huh? You fool. What happened to my plan? The unification of Endiness. Have you found the leader who replaced me? Swing the axe or take his sword. What do we do here? This may be a great place to put a save so I can see alternate conclusions. Emperor Do, Congo got new feelings. Congo find new friends. So, like, what happened there? <clears throat> okay, so I think I avoid. I think I avoid. I said avoid because it said avoid there. I think I did choose the correct answer the first time. 
Because Congo said something afterwards. Attention of Emperor Do is in Congo. Congo would avoid Emperor Do. We saw the courage of a Kagato. Real courage can be obtained when a person is released from the bonds of the past. Okay, so yeah, I did do that one correctly. And it looks like you can save and reload as well, so I don't think my save states are that big of a deal. It just lets me say, okay, I, I'm going to choose this response. If I'm wrong, I can just load and choose the other one. Because you easily could save and reload every single time here and still achieve the same effect. I see. You are giving me a challenge. Let's get over with. Don't be so hasty, Uck. Miranda, you are hasty. You have a short temper and hopelessly annoying, Uck. You really have a short temper, Uck. I have a question for you. Annoying mind, Uck. Why are you here? Okay, so... What will I say here? I'm here... Let's say for Queen Theresa. Like, this is the first choice. This would be my second choice. And then for my friends would be the third choice. For Queen Theresa. I asked the wrong question. All right, Uck. Buckle lost, Uck. Miranda won, Uck. I lost, uh, uh, Buckle to die, Uck. What are you talking about? Without Buckle, the space cannot exist. You died too, Miranda. Where am I? Buckle, answer me. Uh, you still understand? Uck! Buckle and Miranda died! Uck! Don't tell me I died. I'm still alive. Look, I still have my hands and feet. Uh, the die is vanished! Uck! Now Miranda vanishes! Uck! Same as Buckle! Uck! She actually did vanish. Huh. What kind of trick is this? What did you do with my body? Uh, Miranda has done enough, Uck! So that you vanish from a buckle, Uck! Are you scared, Uck? Afraid, Uck! You wanna cry, Uck? I'm ready for death any time. I cannot die now. So he said all of them were correct, right? So this is the one that probably matters. So what do we say here? This sounds more courageous. I'm ready for death any time. I cannot die now. This sounds more resolute. I still have stuff to be done. I don't have time for death. I'm ready for death any time. I don't fear death. You are so annoying, Uck! Zeke is going to destroy the signet sphere. Is that okay to die, Uck? Okay, I think that was... Miranda shouldn't die now. Only those who accomplish the mission are ready for death. It's too early for her. I think that was the wrong response. I cannot die now. I haven't done anything yet. I cannot die of terror remains in the world. Man is right, Uck! Buckle's right too, Uck! Buckle's mean. Person who knows the time of our own death has real courage. Okay, good. That's, I think, what we're looking for. We're looking for him to say that each person has courage. Hmm, that means I too have. Okay, so that's two down. Once again, you could easily save and reload after all these. Your Majesty Albert, and it's an emergency. Minister Noish, why are you here? I was called by Mr. Zvan, so he was in danger. Tell me more. God, his face looks so weird sometimes. They really did a disservice to Albert's face. 
The, minister, the mysterious Eastern tribe is deploying an army around the border, and cowardice, they took disadvantage of your absence, king. Return to Indel's castle at once. Your people are waiting for you to come back, your majesty. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. So my theory is, if we need to stop Zeke, going back means we're running away from Zeke. Now, technically, we're not running away from Zeke. We're running to protect those we love. But if Zeke wins, those we love doesn't matter because we'll all be dead, right? So I'm assuming the correct answer is say you can't leave. Just like, just like the previous response of you cannot die yet uh, was the correct response because you have to triumph over this challenge. I think in this similar vein, this is also the correct answer. I cannot do that. Why? I am a dragoon before I am a king. Mr. Noish, please attend to the matter of the invasion of the Eastern tribe. Do anything possible to avoid a fight. That's right. Don't worry. There's no such thing as an Eastern tribe. Okay. Already that tells me that that's probably the correct answer. That's our king. Albert, head away the world's crisis against his peoples. But making cool choices is the responsibility of a king. The real leader has to be able to weigh the effects of a death. That is the courage of a king. Okay, you mentioned courage, so that is the right answer. Okay, who's next? These are kind of fun. I wonder what happens if you fail them all, though. Kind of don't want to try. Kind of sad. Nothing is here? Boring. Bartel, why are you here? I came back from the infernal world to get revenge for my sister. Are you interrupting me, Grahara? Graha? You, you told me, Mary. You will come back to sell the mouth of the sister after the journey. So you cannot die here. Make amends with your death. My sister admired you. How could you still live after you take the life of my sister? I I still cannot die. I still cannot die. Right? This is again. This is the same pattern as the rose thing. I, I can't die yet. We still have something to do. I still cannot die. I cannot do anything if I die. Even make amends. Okay, that just feels right. It was tough, wasn't it? Poor Mero. Death does not make amends. Make amends only exists in life. We surely saw the courage of Mero who knew and chose to live. Okay. Uh, let's continue on. Next challenge. The completion of magic requires both the material and heart of the person who uses it. It is like raising disciples. Oh wow, flashing back all the way here. Mine's a legend of Lagaya. You know? Huh, what is this? And Claire left, folk. I saw it through the mirror with Spino. If you could erase all your memories and could go back to that moment, could you stop Claire? Ooh. Hmm. Can we alter the destiny of someone? Ah, 
I'm not sure about this one. I mean, I can see both sides. The, the courage to change destiny or the courage to admit that destiny can't be changed. I can see both sides here very clearly. Let's say we could stop her. Huh, if I could stop her. But it would be the same because the Hassle Den is the Hassle Den. Okay, I don't think that was the right answer. You cannot change your past, except in the past, it shows courage to. Right. Okay, yeah, I, I, I got that. Alright, yeah, I understand that. So I couldn't stop her. I could stop her. It was the best thing I could do. That's right. Like I said, I, I could see both sides there very clearly. But at the same time, it was... It's kind of a 50-50 on that one. Look at this guy's eyes, by the way. They're so cool. I just noticed that. Except in the past, it shows courage, too. That one was kind of tricky. I mean to hit hold on. I did not mean to hit hold on. I would often think about it. The thing we are doing, namely Charlie, creating the signet sphere to seal the moon that never sets, so and most continuously killing the moon child. I prepare for the coming evil day with a new signet to moot and a psychedelic bomb, and wait it until the moment. The road of destruction laid by the creator, so is supposed to be absolute, but evolution was stopped by a swing lease. I would often think about it. Whether our deeds were the right thing and will continue forever. I'm afraid whether I'll be myself until the day my body perishes and becomes us. Will our intention be a goal by the, in the intention of the creator so eventually? Is everything meaningless? You go too far. We are neither immortal nor gods. We are mere people. People should live. Should just live in the present. Because it means living for the next present. I have been that way, and I won't change. When is my challenge? Uh... Hello? W okay, what happened to the challenge? Did I screw up somewhere? We have finished the challenge this six. You are the last one, Dart. Are you ready for the last challenge? Yeah. Why well, round a rose? Okay, it's the last. Put your courage to the psychedelic bomb. Shauna. Shauna, is this an illusion? It's a possibility of the future. The sword? I cannot control my body. What did you do to me? You have to take up scores against Shauna. Stop it! Shauna is a moon child that gives birth to the guy to just Oh, that's Lulu, sorry. Shauna is a moon child that gives birth to the guy of destruction as well as being Dart's significant other. We have to take up scores against Shauna. What are you going to do? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay, let, let me let me tell you my logic here on this one. If this says, I will kill her to save her, versus I refuse to kill her, that's an impossible choice that I don't know how it would go. But this is not that choice. This one either says, I will say shine no matter what, or what should I do? This one is more, I don't really know what's going on, and that doesn't show courage. That just shows doubt. This is the only one that actually shows courage. But again, if it was between not killing Shauna and killing Shauna, that would have been a much harder choice. But I think this is the right answer just because it seems more direct. I will save Shauna no matter what. That's courage. All right, cool. The courage to pursue your love will change even fate. Savan went ahead to see the results. 
I hope our courage will be able to make the psychedelic bomb. Her secretion, but does the use of effort by Savan. We have a huge responsibility. We obtained an unexpected ally. Now we can wait for Zeke at the Signet Sphere. We all know what that means, don't we? If we can stop my dad in the city, the world will be saved. That's it. Let's go, Savan's waiting. Why did it take us back here? Rose, get out of here. Maybe there's a boss fight coming up. Ooh. Let's see my different song. Maybe there's a boss fight coming up. And if there's a boss fight coming up, am I okay with this party? I mean, Albert's got an awesome ability. The problem is I don't have enough uh, time with the other characters. I mean, Hashel's still a level two dragon. All right, I, I think I am gonna do some replacements here because we may be fighting a boss. So let's, I, I'm gonna leave Albert in instead of Congo though because he could, he could still do some good stuff. But I do think I need to bring in Meru. I don't know why I unequipped that. Like on Hashla, I don't know why I unequipped that War God item. I mean, you, you can keep that, that's fine. What about the helmet? Did I get a helmet somewhere? The magical hat, yeah. Armet. No, I, I want the magical hat on him. Because it's more magic defense. Yeah, because more magic defense. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll walk this party then. Like I said, Albert has a really powerful um, ability that makes it so that, you know, we can't, we get bonuses to defenses, so that's good. You know, it's going to be finding a boss though. No, we don't seem to be finding a boss. There's this whole other room. Now, I'm going to rewind slightly. A little bit more slightly. I'm going to rewind a little bit more slightly and put a uh, Hashel back in our party until until I feel like there's a boss. It's a lot of portals in this room. They all kind of loop. You see that? There's like a loop to them. So even though there's a lot of portals, the portals really don't do anything. Uh, darts. I need to get rid of a guy really quick. Uh, let's get rid of this gut shark. This gut shark. Okay, good. We didn't get punished with a really strong spell. That's always nice. Down, I don't think he is. The good news now is that Hashel should have the next edition unlocked. Well, not the ne next edition unlocked, but he should have that edition maxed. What I mean to say. So, really, the only person that matters in this fight anymore is Albert. Yeah. 
Excellent. All right, we go see Hassel's next edition now. Hey, we also got new magic finally. Dragon level three. Fantastic. We got a long way to go for level five, unfortunately. A long ways to go. Okay, uh, Floria's Sticks is done. Summon four gods. It's three additions now. On the end. Okay. Let us go ahead and bring in Maru. He did talk about the King Kraken or something, right? Look, the courage of all of you is adding up. The new magic will be born. Give me your hands. Give me your hands to save the world. Give me your energy. Spirit bomb. This is the second elk bomb. Oh my god. It is exceeding the limit. It's over 9,000. Did it fail? Don't worry. It's not a bad thing. Your courage was too strong. My ultimate magic is now complete. Savant, at last I finished my preparation moot. Rough. It was rough, rough. Our efforts will pay off few. Magic power is strong as the six feet scout in moot few. Seems we made it in time. Does this mean we can stop my father's plan? As long as Zeke doesn't destroy moot, rough. It's okay, f it's okay, few. The strongest of all magic creatures, Last Kraken, is guarding it, few. Let's activate Moon at once. We'll put a new seal on the moon that never sets. Alright, Psychedelic Bomb X. So, I guess we're not fighting the Kraken? Thought for sure we'd be fighting um, that guy when you mention him. What is Psychedelic Bomb X? It's an item, probably. Only unbased attack for all. It's a All right, it's it's a super attack item that can be used infinitely. That is nice and incredibly broken. Sweet. I have way too many healing rains. Actually, I have way too many healing rains and healing breezes. I love it when I think there's a boss and there's not. Happened to me a lot, and I forgot what game it was, but there was a game I was playing where that happened all the time. I was like, oh, there's gonna be a boss, and then there isn't. Oh, it's gonna be a boss, and then there isn't. Oh, it's gonna be. No, 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 there isn't. Wow, that's. That's actually easier than the other one. Yeah, that, that's a lot easier than uh, his last one. I need to take this thing out. The thing about the attack item that we just got, it's really powerful and it's probably really good, but I don't know why you'd use it. Because when you use it, you don't get any additions, you don't get any dragon levels, you don't get any of that. So, I mean, it's a problem I've had with attack items in this game, which is, I'd rather not use them. Because, the, uh, the, the attacking in this game is so good with the combos and all that to use attack items just deprives you of some of the some of the stuff that makes this game memorable. All 
I sort of missed that. Sorry. I, I kind of missed that. There, we got something. Angel Spare. I already have too many Angel Spares. And there's a chest right here. It'll probably give me some usable item that... Nope. Gives me gold. I'll take gold. That comment happened really quick. Like, I went from blue to red very, very quickly. I'd rather you do the physical attack bear, it gives me an extra addition, but okay. Yes. Gosh. Ah, shoot. Okay, that didn't... That wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. Yeah, and Summon for God seems to be easier to do than the other move. Okay, good. I was about to say, no, I didn't lock you down yet. It's all good. You know what the uh, the ultimate attack item would probably be good for? The, the ultimate attack item would probably be good for a boss that has like multiple, multiple forms. Or well, not multiple forms, but multiple um, parts. So you know, an and so you know, a boss that ha uh, like the the one boss that we fought that had like four different body parts, something like him. I mean, that's a good AOE to open up with. I totally forgot about counters because we haven't had a counter the entire game. Well, not the entire game, but the entire video. Look, there hasn't been a single counter the entire video. Well, I guess because you can't counter with two additions, but you can counter with three and more. So I haven't had, um, I've been using two additions the entire time and Dart's been using his uh, automatic addition thing. So that's probably why that happened. Save point. All right, now that makes me a little bit paranoid. I mean, don't tell me there's a giant Kraken and I don't get to fight a giant Kraken. Don't tell me that game. Although she's water-based. So sh would she really be good to have in this fight? You know what? Screw it. If there's a boss or if there's not a boss, I'm just gonna stick with these three. Why the heck not? Although your addition it does no damage. Someone four guys does absolutely no damage. Um Who cares? We're gonna go with it. I'm gonna drop a save here. Let me show it. This is a second sphere that has continued to seal the moon that never sets. The flesh of the god of destruction, the evil fruit that is settled in the sky. And this is the last Kraken, a magic creature that was born to guard the signet zone. But we have you. It may not be needed. I like a... I just wish it was kind of two tentacles that appeared coming out, not the whole body. Because that was really, really funny, the way it just like went... It was like falling out. And Moot was not working. That red light is Moot, the new signet. Yes, when Moon is activated and the new signet covers the moon that never sets, the ambitious of that man will be terminated. What is going on? 
That was a point introduction of me. Oh, okay, we're fighting Zeke. Hey, maybe we gotta fight with the Kraken. Now that would be cool. I'd totally be on board with that. The voice, it's you, Zeke. Dad, where are you? In front of you. Don't tell me, it's been manipulated, it cannot be. Yes, it is. It's controlling the heart of the last Kraken. Oh, well, unfortunately, it looks like we are going to fight the last Kraken. Zeke, are you saying that 10,000 years of rest has brought you magic power? Oh, uh, yes. This has been an astonishing evolution. Eventually, I will go beyond everything. Father, tell me, why do you need to annihilate the world? Because I have a disappointment of a son. I mean, mm -hmm. It is the intention of the creator Soa. And now it is my intention as well. Dart, are you not only pointing a sword against your own father, but also pointing a sword against Soa who created you? And Savan, don't you think it is a waste to stop the birth of a guy by disobeying the intention of Soa? You are all silly. And the way this thing is freaking out. It seems the moon mirror that Lloyd struggled to get was not necessary. Go, last Kraken! Destroy the signature and meet along with this city! Oh, well, it looks like I get my wish. We get to fight the giant Kraken. Whoa, look at the thing from behind. It looks like a giant crab. Everybody, we gotta stop him. I won't let you have your wave, Father. Alright! I got my wish! We gotta fight a giant fish! Uh, Hashel, why don't you go ahead and do a startup power up on Dart? Ooh, that hurt a little. We don't have any heals in dragon form. That is a little bit unnerving if we go now. It's only got one target though. I thought maybe the, the, the tentacles would be targets. Let's go for it. Is this the smartest thing in the world to do? No. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> We're going all in here. This is why Mare is good, because she's got that heal. And because that heal, if I'm in all Dragoon form, she's going to still be available to help out. damage very good damage and we don't have heals but we do have yes. wow 100 percent strength it's incredible uh we do have our damage resist our darts attack is only 75 percent roast orb again. Let's keep on hitting it.
doing that damage. Okay, you cannot do Thunder God. Thunder Kid probably doesn't do as much damage as your normal attack. So, just do your normal attack. Never get the full thing. So, understand how it works. Uh, why don't you do, uh, Gasless? Because then I can't do Rose Storm again if I need it. Who cares? Kill the thing. You won't need defense. The guy's dead. He can't do damage to you. That did not do a lot of damage, unfortunately. That didn't do any damage, though. My last 1700. I can, I, I can still do basic attacks, but I don't have the power up. And the power up is really what launches the damage much higher. I mean, that's, that's really good damage, though. I'll respect the normal, which isn't a bad thing. Just means that we can use items now. Although this guy is not hurting us at all. That Rose Storm just seems to be really, really good. Plus, it also may be that he's a water elemental and we have the fire effect on the heal. That could be nerfing his damage. So one problem with Meru is she's water and he dart is fire. I can't have everything, unfortunately. Whoa! I just realized it's already red. Oh my gosh, we are just nuking the heck out of this thing right now. All right, fire effect is gone. That's unfortunate, but eh, what are you gonna do? The heck? Cleons? Okay. Well, why don't we try out this new item that we just got? The AOE one. The one I was just talking about uh, if you're finding a boss that has multiple targets. Pretty. That's super pretty. Didn't kill those. Should I go after these things or should I just go after the Kraken? I think I want to just go after the Kraken. He's on red. He's almost dead. I didn't mean that to rhyme, but it kind of did. Normally when an enemy summons things, that means they could probably summon them again if they're dead. So instead of going after the summons, uh, or you kill one summon, you leave the other one alive in this case. Ooh, 
what's going on. Alright, well that one hurt a little. And by a little, I mean, ow. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's just do a breeze. I wonder if I had a fog in there, I should have checked. Can't really see the box, the Kraken is like the same color as a box and it's hard to see. Stop hitting the same dude! Do I have a fog? I do not. You know what? Let's just uh, speed up dart. This thing is almost dead. As long as that red isn't lying to me. There it goes. Ah, shoot. We do have to take these eggs out anyway. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. That was a lot of damage and it's still there. Okay, it's almost dead. Well, let's hit the other one. Because you're doing a lot of damage right now. I don't really know why you're doing so much damage. But now the other two should be able to finish this off. Take a little gamble here, but it may pay off. Yep, he's dead. And the counter is kicking my butt. And this should kill this one. All right, Kraken is defeated. Wow, I'm a, oh man, I, I need to put a sob in this. This, is, this video is getting way too long. Sorry, y'all. The Pretty Hammer. Ton of level ups. Gives a chance for these two to catch up on EXP as well. Danger, danger! Probably wasn't the last one ever. Aww. The Cygnus Sphere is resonating with the re re reaction to Moot. Why? We prevent the attack of Lost Kraken. I got it. I feel the power generated by the Dragoons trigger the runaway reaction. Sorry, I'll teleport you. Savan, you have to come too! I will see this at the end. Show you to the next city. The signature of Aglas is now being destroyed. Are you starting alone and any alone too? Even if my body vanishes, my heart will remain. It will give you wings to the fly to the sky to the moon that never sets where Zeke is heading. I still have some to ask you. Rose, I'm grateful. Rose, you were mine. We have no time for being sad. Hmm. Alright, my dear friends. Well, my name is The Flightless Bird, and this is your Story Based Gaming Channel. This is our continued blind Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. Much love to you all, my friends. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird.